let's go ahead and start with lesson one, which is decimal place value. So I'm going to start by giving a random number. Let's go with 2.451. And we need to know the different places, especially to be able to keep going and do more operations with decimals. It's really important to start with your place value. So we know this place right here because we've worked with whole numbers a lot. So this place is the first whole number place, so it's the ones. Okay, this next place over to the right is called the tenths. Okay, and then we've got the five in the, you got it, hundredths. And then our last place that we're going to be looking at today is the thousandths place. Okay, so one thing I like to do is a little chant that helps me remember those places. So I look for the decimal point and then I say tenths, hundredths, thousandths, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. One more time, tenths hundredths, thousandths. So you can say that too if you ever need a little help remembering what place things are in. Okay, so now that we have our place value lined out, let's practice saying this number. So this is two and, we always want to say and at the decimal point, two and, and then I like to cover things up and just say this number just like it would be by itself, so 451. And then I think about the last place that it's in, which is the thousandths. So I'm gonna say two and 451 thousandths. Okay, why don't we try with another number? So let's go with 9 and 0.248. Okay, first of all, what place do you think the 9 is in? Good job, it's the 1's place. How about the 8? I'll skip around. All right, the thousandths. How about the two? Good job, the tenths and the four. All right, it's the hundredths, so good job. Let's try writing it. So what I like to do is first just say the number out loud, and it will help me to put it into word form. So nine and 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 then remember my trick of covering up everything but the decimal places and that just looks like 248 so that's what I'm gonna write 248 and then I think about the last place value which is that 8 right there and we know it's in the thousandths so that's my last word. Okay, nine and 248 thousandths. We're gonna take these same numbers that we started with and we are gonna talk about expanded form. This is a really good skill to work on next because if we understand our place value, then we can break apart the number and write it into expanded form. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's start with this first example up here. So we know that two is in the ones place, so it's just worth two whole. So we're just gonna write the number two. And then a plus sign, and we're gonna do that with each digit to figure out how much it's worth. So we have a four in the tenths place, so it's worth four tenths. 
just like that. So same place you see the four here, you'll see it down here in expanded form. Okay, then we've got the five in the hundredths place. Okay, so we're gonna write five hundredths. And we write that like this, five hundredths. Okay, and then we've got one last digit. So we've got a one in the thousandths place. So you guessed it, we're gonna do one thousandths. So we write that like, make sure we get the one into the thousandths place. Okay, so that's the expanded form. Our second number we built, so nine and 248 thousandths, we're gonna write it in expanded form. So we'll start again with the ones place and there are nine of them. So we can write nine plus, and then we'll look over here at the two. Think about what place it's in. Good, it's the tenths, so we're gonna write two tenths. So just like that. All right, and then that four is in the hundredths place. So what are we gonna write for that? Okay, if you said four hundredths, you're correct. Okay, and let's do that last digit, the eight. We know is in the thousandths place. So how much is it worth? Okay, good job, eight thousandths. We gotta make sure we get the eight into that thousandths place, and we have two zeros right here for tenths and hundredths, and we've got the right number. Okay, next I wanna talk about expanded notation. There's actually two ways to expand a number. And expanded notation is uh, pretty close to what we're the skill that we're doing right here, but we're going to break apart the number a little bit differently, show it a little bit differently. So here we go. Let's start with this first number. So we have two ones, right? So instead of just writing a two, we're going to draw some parentheses and show that it's two groups of one. Okay, so for each digit, we're showing that place, that we know that place, it's in the ones, so it's two groups of one. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that with the decimals too. Since we have four tenths, we want to show that there's four groups of one tenth. So we write that like this. So four groups of, I always say groups of when I'm writing a multiplication symbol, it just helps me to remember what multiplying really is. It's all about groups, so four groups of one-tenth, just like that. Okay, and then let's write the next one. So we've got five groups of one-hundredth. Okay, we could say five-hundredths or five groups of one-hundredths. So we'll write it like this, five groups of one hundredth. You can see up here at the expanded form we wrote five hundredths. Here we're just kind of showing it a little differently. They equal the same thing. Okay, and let's do that last one. So we have a one in the thousandths place. So we want to show that we just have one group, one group of one thousandth. Okay, so we know that we have nine in the ones place, so we have nine groups of one. So I'm gonna write it like this, nine groups of one. Okay, then I'll put my plus sign. Okay, these plus signs are important because you're showing that you understand that if you added up all of these different amounts or values, you would get the total number. Okay, so now let's do that too. We know it's in the tenths place. Okay, we did a really good job here on expanded form putting two tenths down. So now we're gonna write it like, I bet you could guess, two groups of, yep, one tenth. Okay, and then another plus sign. 
Okay, and we'll, let's move on to the four. What place is the four in? Good job, it's in the hundredths place. So we want to write that there are four groups of, what do you think? Yep, one hundredth, just like this example up here. Okay, and then we have one last digit to do. So that eight is in the thousandths place, and we have eight groups of, All right, one thousandth. All right, once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty fast. At first, it kind of seems like a lot of work getting all the expanded notation done, but it goes quicker and quicker the more you do it. Okay, and I also want to show you one more thing with expanded notation. I, for some reason, I kind of prefer when I write them as decimals, but there's another way to do expanded notation with fractions. So I want to show you so you'll be familiar with it. So we can start the same way. Let's do this example right here, and I'll just write underneath it. So two groups of one stays the same, okay, because that's we're not going to really write that as a fraction. Those are just whole numbers. But we can write one-tenth as a fraction. Does anybody know how we would write one-tenth as a fraction? All right, it's one-tenth. So one-tenth as a decimal can also be written as one-tenth as a fraction. So you'll see this sometimes when you see expanded notation. I want you to be familiar with fractions too because you'll see it both ways sometimes. Okay, so that means we could write all of these as fractions if we want to. So five groups of one hundredth, well, it's going to be the same same idea, one hundredth. See the denominator change to one hundred to match with hundredths, tenths, hundredths, and I bet you could guess what thousandths can be written as, one thousandths. So there's a thousand in the denominator. Okay, good job. Okay, so to end this lesson, I wanna show you how you can practice a little bit on your own. So I gave you a number, 5.673. Okay, I've labeled the place value. We've got the ones, and then in the decimal area, we have the tenths hundreds, thousands. And so using your knowledge, you can write that number in word form. So remember my tip of just saying it out loud. Don't forget the and at the decimal point. Then you can write it out in expanded form like we practiced, showing me what each digit is equal to. And then there's two different expanded notations. So we can write expanded notation with decimals, and we can write expanded notation with fractions. So practice on your own paper this number right here, 5.673. Good luck, and I enjoyed this lesson, and I will see you next time.